Okay, so we are starting 6.2, estimating solutions of system by inspection. The really cool thing about today's lesson is a lot of it is just inspecting, not necessarily doing a whole lot of arithmetic or math. Um, let's just start with the launch because it kind of paints the picture of the lesson really well. So these same two runners, or you can think of them as different runners, they're now in a 100-yard dash at speeds shown in the diagram. Runner three starts four seconds before runner two. So this guy, runner three, who's going eight yards a second, starts three seconds before runner two, who's also going eight yards a second. Will they ever pass each other? Uh, and the answer is no. They will never pass each other. And how we know that is that they are going the same speed. So think of two cars going down the highway at the same speed. Are they ever going to pass each other? No, they are not. So you can think of this same speed as their slopes being the same. So if we translate this into, of course, we love y equals mx plus b. This slope here would be a slope of 8, and this slope here would be a slope of 8, and their graphs would run parallel to each other. They would never cross. And we want to think of all the same slopes as being parallel lines like these um, that would never cross. All right, let's go ahead and turn our page. Without graphing, decide whether each system of linear equations has one solution, no solution, or infinitely many. So that's going to be the answer to all today's one solution, no solution, or infinitely many. And we solve by using inspection. So again, we're looking at this example here where we have a system of equations. And we want to see if they will have one solution, no solution, or infinitely many. I have this note up here, v heart y equals mx plus b. Um, and go ahead and split your page 132 up like this. And we want to put over here this note solving for y. And what does that mean? It means to get y all by itself. Get y all by itself. And what do I mean by getting y all by itself? Well, if you have a situation like, like this one here, and we're going to do the work for it over here, 2x minus 2y equals 8. Is this in y equals mx plus b? No, it's not. We need to get it in y equals mx plus b, meaning we need y, y, to be all by itself. So what am I going to do? I'm going to minus 2x from both sides. After that, I get negative 2y equals negative 2x plus 8. Remember that these are not like terms. You cannot combine them together. How do I get y all by itself now? Oh, yeah, that's right. I divide by negative 2. If I divide this by negative 2, it means I have to divide all of this by negative 2. Now my y is alone. I have y equals x, and now this turns into negative 4. So instead of this being the equation that we're comparing, this is actually equal to y equals x minus 4. So now we need this one, I'm going to switch colors, we need this one to be in y equals mx plus b. So how do we do that? Well, first, same thing. I'm going to minus x from both sides. I get negative y equals negative x plus 6. y is still not by itself. Remember, it needs to be all alone. If you look up here, all alone. So I'm going to switch this sign to make it y positive. What does that mean happens here? This switches and that switches. So this is now x minus 6. And now is when we can compare. What are we comparing? I'm going to switch to a highlighter. What are we comparing? We are comparing this equation to this equation. And we want to look specifically at their slopes. So if their slopes are the same, which they are, in this case they're 1, this is going to have no solution. Now why is that? Because they will never cross. These are parallel lines. So I'm going to put that these are parallel lines. 
Now that was a lot of steps. We look at this one that we're going to add in. So if you didn't already draw a line somewhere, go ahead and add this this in right here. Um, and this one's a, quite a bit easier, or I should say less steps. So how do we do here? Well, we have y equals 4x plus 8. Yay, that's in y equals mx plus b. And what else do we have? We have 4x plus y. So here, I need to minus 4x, minus 4x. I get y equals negative 4x plus 8. Now I'm comparing this equation to this equation. Do they have the same slope? No, they do not. So this means, no, not the same slope, this means they will have one solution. They will cross one time. We can even put cross one time. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. And it even says, by inspection, by inspection, what can you determine about the solutions to this system? Uh, again, we're going to split this down the middle, leave this part blank. Here, what is the same? What is different? Okay, what's the same? The slopes. If the slopes are the same, these two lines are parallel meaning they will never cross. Well, how can you have a solution if they'll never cross? But what's different? Oh, what's different is their y-intercepts. So different y-intercepts, what does this mean? Remember, we're inspecting. This means they have no solution. They will never cross. They are parallel. Okay, now let's look here. So here she was added this in. Oopsies. So we have 2y equals 2x plus 8, and then we have y minus 4 equals x. Well, remember, we heart y equals mx plus b. Neither of these are in mx plus b form, so let's change them up. This top one, we've got to divide everything by 2. And what do we get? We get y equals x plus 4. Okay, and down here... The y is not quite alone. We got a plus 4 to both sides. We get y equals x plus 4. What do we see? Are these exactly the same? They are exactly the same. Which means that they have infinitely many solutions. And I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. So infinitely many solutions. They're the same line means they're graphing the same line. Let's talk about this one. Okay, and we're just talking. How could x plus y equal 8 and x plus y also equal 25? Without even doing math, this is what I'm talking about. We're just inspecting. The system has no solution because x plus y cannot equal 8 and 25 at the same time or simultaneously. So these are parallel lines. They will never cross. It has no solution. That would be our answer. Now, on your homework, you're going to have to show me why. So, no solution because they are parallel lines. They will never cross. Now, here's what these look like. What do we notice? We have one solution here. How many times does their graphs cross? One time. And look at the examples of their equations. They all have different slopes. What about no solution we have here? How many times does their graph cross? No times. We have parallel lines, and look at their slopes. Their slopes are all the same. What about infinitely many solutions? This one's the most interesting one. This is when you have all the same equations. Now, notice our equations. Do they all look the same? No, they're trying to trick you. But you divide all this by 2 and you get that equation. So by inspection meaning, you can just look at some of this and take a note, and you'll know if it's one solution, no solution, or infinitely many. Okay, this is where I want you to pause and try this one on your own. Which equation does not complete the system of equations with an infinite number of solutions? So this time we're looking for the 
same exact equation as this, only remember, it's going to be disguised. So pause here and try and figure it out. Okay, and your answers should have been both C and D. Okay, last thing we're going to do in this video is you should have gotten from me a little sheet that looks like this. Once we're done filling it in, you are going to glue it in at the bottom of page 131. So, again, this is going in at the bottom of page 131. These are the types of solutions. So if you have one solution, you have what kind of slopes? Different slopes. They can have the same or different y-intercepts. Line intersect one time. Intersect once. Oops. Once. This is something like y equals negative 7x plus 3 and y equals 1 half x minus 7. It could be anything. Okay, now, second situation is you have no solution. Same slope, different what? Do you think we can fill this in? Different y-intercepts. Lines are what? What type of lines are these? Okay, these are parallel. What types of lines? Parallel. Okay, parallel lines will never cross. So they're going to look like this. Sorry, let's go back. These ones would look something like this. Now, infinitely many solutions is they are the same exact line. So I put an exclamation point here because it's exciting. They are the same line. And they can also be a multiple of the same line. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we have y equals 3x plus 4, and we have 2y equals 6x plus 8, notice how all I did to the second equation was just multiply it by 2, and I got the first equation. So these are multiples of the same line. Okay, you may now start assignment number oops, assignment number 57. You have to state why you chose each answer that you chose for full credit.